friend Sharky. We are so excited to introduce our career week. And today, Monday, we are jumping off our week with armed forces. That means that you guys are about to hear several different interviews from students who attend our school. And you guys will learn about all different types of branches within our military. Hope you guys enjoy. See you, Paul. All right. Okay. Um, hello. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Staff Sergeant Stiles. Well, my name is Colin, and it's nice to meet you, Mr. Stiles. Um, nice to meet you as well, man. Um, so what's, uh, what's your job title? Um, right now, I am an enlisted accessions recruiter. Okay. Um, so why did you choose your career? Um, I chose my job because I like to help people. Um, it definitely gives me the opportunity to meet new people and, um, you know, help them get out of their current situations. Oh, that's good. Um, how, how long have you worked in your field? Um, I've been a recruiter now for two and a half years, but I've been in the Air Force for 10 and a half years. <laughs> well, what is the best part of your job? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, I would say best part of my job is knowing that I help people and knowing that um, how the Air Force kind of helps them as far as getting different benefits and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so can you tell, like, give anyone any advice of if they want to be in your, have your career, just to be in the Air Force Army um, in general? Mm-hmm. So my piece of advice, man, is definitely, um, you know, start your research early. I mean, obviously right now it's, you know, a little bit early, but that's okay. Um, but definitely do your research and kind of, um, you know, reach out to, reach out to a recruiter whenever that time comes, if, if that's the path that you want to choose. Okay. Um, do you always- Also, I'd, sorry, I'd like to add on that too. Um, definitely stay in school and keep your, keep your grades up, man. Um, thank you for the advice. Um, what, did you always want to work? Um, do you, did you always have, want to have the job that you have currently? Um, this is actually a special job. So my, pr my primary job, my first job in the Air Force is hospitality management, which is like customer service, um, necessarily didn't want that job coming in, but I definitely appreciate that job now that I've that I've done that job for, you know, X amount of years. So, okay. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I get it. Um, so, what is um one of the most stressful parts of your job? Um, waking up early. Yeah, <laughs> that's stressful for everyone. Um, yeah, right. One of the Hardest parts. Hardest part of my job. Um, I mean, there's no real difficult part of my job. I talk to a lot of different people, so I think um, maybe conveying the message of the Air Force, like how the Air Force can help people out. Maybe that's some people, you know, are receptive to it. Some people understand it. Some people don't. So I think maybe that's probably the toughest part. Hmm. Okay. Um, did you go to college? Uh, I'm currently in college, yes. Oh, okay. Um, growing up, what was your dream job? Um, I don't really remember. I hate to not answer this question, but um, I don't know. I think being in the military might have been, honestly, uh, because my dad was in the, in the military. My grandpa was in the military. So I think for me, um, that was kind of my dream in a way. Okay. Um, so how difficult was for was it for you just getting through military school? Um, it's pretty easy as long as you study, as long as you pay attention. Um, anybody can do fine. I don't think there's anything that's really hard about it. Okay. Um, so um, like do you have any uh, family or any relations um, in the army? Anyone you knew before you were going into this career? 
Um, trying to think. I don't think so. Besides my my dad, he was obviously in the military. Other than that, um, I don't recall. No. Okay. Um. So, uh, what are your hobbies? Good question. Uh, my hobbies right now is to exercise. Um, I like lifting weights, working out, kind of stay in shape. Um, so the Air Force kind of makes you stay in shape. So it's, it's always good, obviously, because it's healthy anyway, so. Okay. Um, so as a recruiter, um, mm -hmm. sorry, my mind's kind of blinking. Um, okay. As a recruiter, is there, do you like, is it hard for you? Do you ever need to reject anyone or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Giving me the tough questions. Uh, yes. Sometimes I do have to. Um, it really depends if they're qualified or not. If they're not qualified, then yes, I have to be like, sorry, you can't join the Air Force. Um, that's not really the best part of my job because I don't really like doing that, but that's the reality of it, you know? Yeah. Um, so thank you uh, for your time and thank you for answering my questions. It was nice cool. meeting you. And uh, before you go, is there anything you want to say? Um, yes, stay in school, keep your grades up, um, study, listen to your teachers. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you for coming on here and it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you as well. Thank you. So what is your name? Hello. 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 Why are we yelling? <laughs> this is Mike. How you doing, young lady? I'm doing good. How are you guys? I'm fantastic. Good day. That's an army day. It's a great day. All right, so go ahead with your questions. So what are your guys' names? Oh, sorry? What's that over here? What's your name, Battle? My name is Staff Sergeant De La Osa. Right here. I'm Staff Sergeant Butler and Staff Sergeant Rodriguez. We're right Army here. recruiters. Whoa! Whoa! So, um, is that your job title? It is. Yeah. Yeah. You're sorry. Well, this is a this is a special detail for us. We have other jobs. I'm basically the Army IT guy. Staff Sergeant Butler, tell them what you do. So I'm actually a medical laboratory specialist before I became a recruiter. So a lab tech. Wow. What do you do, Staff Sergeant Rodriguez? Well, I'll tell you, Sergeant De La Osa. I am a lawyer station. Woo! What is that? House. I work at a warehouse with a lot of supplies. What? Whoa! What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I want to be an astronomer. Ah, uh, very wow. cool. Okay. Nice. Shooting for the stars there, huh? <laughs> the sky's the limit. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. That, yeah. Why do you want to be an astronomer? You can cut that. Okay. <laughs> so, how long have oh, you been okay. in your field? Oh, tell us our brother how long? I've been in 12 years. 12 years. I've been in 11 years. And I've been for nine years. Almost a decade. It's pretty good. I'm one more year than a decade. What? what? Together we create a pension. Am I right? Up top. Woo! That's okay. They can cut that. You can cut that. We Go ahead. A retirement plan. So why did you choose to take this job? Uh, you want to go first? Oh, you go, go first. first. Go first battle. So I chose that job um, because I spent a lot of years working outdoors, and uh, the counselor I spoke to showed me a little video, and it was basically showing some folks working indoors. And so I was like, "Oh, that job sounds like something I could see myself doing." So I did a lot of construction, a lot of you know working outside. I wanted to do something you know more on the inside. So that's ultimately why I chose that job. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, I have a, a natural uh, proficiency for technology. So I wanted to kind of uh, turn that into a career. And the Army was a great way to not only make me successful of what I do for the Army, but to make me successful for what I could do later on in life when I get out of the Army. Exactly. And then the same for me, I decided to become a logistician because I really saw myself doing that type of job, working at a warehouse, dispatching vehicles, moving the supply for the rolling stock in the army. 
Voila. What advice can you give to uh, say, say it one more time. So what advice can you give to me and my fellow peers? Oh, there you go. Sorry, Bullard got this one. I would say, you know, focus on school right now. That's your main job. You know, try to challenge yourself, um, both physically and mentally. You know, just either picking up a hobby, a sport, you know, just having something, something to keep your mind occupied. And um, ultimately, you know, do well in school. You know, that's, like I said, that's your, that's your main job right now. Let's get through school. Absolutely. Okay. So keep, keep your nose clean and don't do drugs. Yeah, stay in school. Oh, and be nice to your teachers. Listen, I should say it right phrase out. Listen to your teachers. All right. So that was nice interview. So bye. That's that's all the happy hour. Nice. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you too. Oh, Woo. thank you for your time. All right, thank remember. You, all right, all right. Stay, stay, stay Army strong. Go Army. All right, bye bye. Bye. Woo.